Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern Team and Keller Williams here again for another Stern Team Market Minute. Now, as we head into the winter months, open houses still happen. In fact, open houses are happening a lot more frequently now than they were even last year, given there's a lot more homes on the market. So, I wanna give you three tips today on having a successful open house to make sure your home shows as best and also protects you. So, tip number one. Remove all personal items in the house. Now I'm talking from a staging perspective first, remove all personal family photos and uh, religious uh, artifacts, ornaments. We wanna make sure a buyer has that creativity when they come in. And when a house has got family photos and religious photos and ornaments, like it takes away from that buyer's ability to see that home as their own. On a side note, sticking with personal items, Remove any high-valued items, lock them up or take them with you. Now, personally, in nine years of doing this, I have never had a home where a personal valuable was taken. I don't want it to be the first. So lock those up, take them with you, make sure those aren't sticking around. Now, when you hold the open house, make sure all the blinds are open, okay? This helps not only when pictures are taken weeks before, but at the open house, bringing in natural light just changes the mood and the overall um, trajectory of how an open house feels, okay? And third, do something that is gonna give a, a nice fragrance um, and help with the ambiance of the home. It could be an air freshener, it could be a diffuser. Heck, you could have just made um, chocolate chip cookies and the home just smells um, you know, like a, a baking goodness. Actually, pretty good idea now that we're in the holidays of doing that type of thing. So remember those three tips as you do an open house. As always, if you have any questions or want to discuss this further, give us a call, text or email us, we'd love to help you.